What is up guys, Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with another review. This should be a pretty short video, hopefully given that I don't fucking talk for eight hours. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the Nike Lab version of the Sock Flyknit Racer. So I picked up two colors of the Sock Flyknit Racer. One that is like an off-white sail color and one that is the plain black and white color. So, let's get into reviewing them. Nike recently released a new model dubbed the Sock Racer Ultra Flyknit, which is supposed to be a lifestyle racer shoe similar to the Flyknit Racer. The Nike Lab model is similar to the normal version uh, in silhouette, except there are a few design slash material tweaks. The Nike Lab version of the Sock Racers retails for $140, which is about $10 more expensive than the regular version. This extra $10, you will be receiving a slightly more premium material when it comes to the leather and also a sort of unique this Nike swoosh design that they just kind of plastered on there it gives you like a almost um, fly mercurial look like if you guys do remember that so I have been actually wearing these for the past few weeks um, and here are my thoughts of them. So my first thought is that I think the upper of the shoe is where the shoe really stands out. The upper is extremely comfortable and it really, really does hug my foot into place without the need of laces. The straps really don't really do anything. They are much more of an aesthetic rather than an actual securing. You can tighten them to secure, but it really doesn't do that much to the shoe. I believe the biggest place where the comfort is lacking is actually the sole. The sole is comfortable enough for most use, but if you are gonna be standing for about 10 plus hours, then possibly maybe an Adidas Ultra Boost might even be better for you. But the sole is comfortable enough for use. It's just if I had to pick a place where the comfort would be lacking, it would be the sole. The extra $10 Nike lab tax on this model is not worth it. Um, I personally don't think it's worth the extra $10. The leather on both the straps and the back does feel nice for $130 or $140, but I just generally don't think that extra $10 would be worth it. I highly suggest that you get the normal Nike model rather than the Nike uh, lab model, unless you really, really do like this swoosh checkered design which I know, I mean, I, I think it looks sick. Like it's like an off-white, it's not like a pure white, so that's why I liked it. My friend Wonton actually did a review on them. I'm gonna be putting his card up there and I'll also leave a link to his channel down below. I do think that for $130 to $140, this is one of the biggest slept on shoes of the past year. The Sock Racers will not be your Instagram flex shoe by any means, but I do think you will get a nice, like a good amount of compliments when you're wearing this shoe because I've received at least one compliment every day that I wore these out to like you know school or to friends houses etc to parties these are going on sale actually in a few locations I know that some of them are gonna be 20% off 30% off I was actually able to receive these for I think 30% off uh, retail so I paid right around hundred dollars for each and I thought it was amazing so I personally think this is a great shoe for under 150 bucks I, either version works well. If you guys are looking just for a plain shoe for you to wear, for you to beat around, this is an amazing shoe. And if you guys can get it for under retail, even better. Like, I think these are very sleek. Like, it's not very much of a clunky shoe, it's very streamlined. Like, e even the toe box, I think that toe box just looks so attractive. It doesn't like stick up like the Prestos or the sock, um, sock darts. I think this is just such a sleek slope and such a sick shoe. The leather is actually extremely nice for 140 if you do compare like Jordans, etc. This is actually quite a steal if you compare them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys did decide to pick up, whether or not you guys like the shoe. I've heard um, some people online call them nursing shoes, which I don't really see. Is all, like a bunch of people are like, oh man, you're wearing white shoes, like those are fucking nurse shoes. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You guys hear that crow? That crow's fucking angry at me because I've become a Nike shill. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep subscribed. More videos coming out soon and I'll see you guys later. Peace.